guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the Sephora Collection Clean Vegan Hydrating Satin Lipsticks. They came out with 12 shades. It runs for $12 and that is honestly what grabbed my attention. Other than the fact that they re use like recyclable packaging to create the packaging that they have, I thought that was really cute, very different, and I love that it's vegan. They also have the little clean beauty symbol at the Sephora website, so if that's something that grabs your attention or that's something you're looking for, there it is, and apparently you can build the pigmentation to your personal liking. It's supposed to be hydrating with the satin finish. So today we're gonna to be trying them on. We're gonna see how does it feel on the lips? What are the undertones like? And is that actually worth picking up in case you've been eyeing it and you're just not really sure? So I hope you guys enjoy. Everything will be linked down below as always. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. It really does help out my channel. And as always, let's dive on in and try them out. So the first lip shade we have here, it is called Dan. Dandelion. It's described on their website as a pinky nude lip shade and let me tell you guys it is so pretty and you know here on my channel I'm not a huge fan of like pinky lip colors but this one I feel like it's not too pinky. It has a neutral undertone. Perfect everyday type of lip shade. I feel like it goes and it matches pretty closely to my top that I'm currently wearing and it definitely has a satin finish. It feels really hydrating. It glided on effortlessly but I do want to mention that it took a little minute for me for it to like transfer when I was swatching the back of my hand. I'm not sure if it had like a weird little seal to the lipstick or if it's just one of those lip colors that you really have to build the pigmentation to it. So I'll let you guys know once I apply it on once we get to that point. But as for the packaging itself, it definitely feels like it's made out of cardboard. The only downside that I can think right now when it comes to the packaging is if you ever wet it, if you ever sit on it, if you're ever too aggressive with it, you can definitely ruin it and then you'll be out on a lipstick so that's the only thing but I do love that it's fun playful I love the packaging is different I love that it says on there clean as well to remind you that it's clean beauty and I love the fact that it has also a numerical system on the lipstick so if one fades you have the other to kind of reference to which lip shade you're trying to repurchase as for the lipstick itself I feel like it's a really good size I feel that this can last a really long time. I honestly never finish a lipstick. And as for a scent girl, there is no scent to it. But you guys know here on my channel, I love makeup like that doesn't really have a scent to it. I feel like if you don't really need it to have a scent, I prefer it just to do what it's meant to do. You know what I mean? Just be a good product that will do everything you're describing. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on so we can dive on in and try on a dandelion. And in case you're interested, I always list the lip combos that I wear in the description box. All right, lip combo off. Let's jump on in and try on dandelion. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the corner and work my way through. This is Dandelion. Comment down below. What do you guys think? I absolutely love the formula, you guys. It's very different than anything that I have tried. It kind of almost shocks me, kind of blew me away, just because it is hydrating, but it feels like weight. It doesn't feel heavy. You can press your lips together and the formula doesn't separate. I do like the fact that you're able to build the pigmentation. I did find myself like going over and over and over trying to build it, but I honestly really like that. I found it to be different than anything that I have tried. I love the idea that if you want it to be really sure, you could, or if you want it to be a little bit more pigmented, you really could layer it on. It almost feels powdery on the lips at the same time. And I just really love the undertone to this lip color. It's really pretty. I feel like it will suit many different skin complexions, a perfect, everyday type of lip shade like I mentioned you guys before and I so far really love it comment down below again what do you guys think so let's move on to lip shade number two now for cherry blossom this is described on their website as a rosy nude lip shade and to be honest you guys know here on my channel I love a good nude lip color and I'm really excited about this lip shade because it definitely has a really pretty nude undertone to it it has a really pretty rosy undertone I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade again that you can just kind of throw on for work on your everyday and it just kind of goes with everything you don't have to think twice about it you can just run out the door and start your day, <laughs> which I love. It definitely has a satin finish. Again, I know I mentioned in the last clip that I feel like there's like a some type of like seal layer to these lipsticks because I found myself kind of having to swatch it many times to see pigmentation. But honestly, I feel like that's just the formula of these lipsticks. It's gonna be really sheer unless you go over the area several times to build the pigmentation. So I just wanna clear that out because I'm noticing that by swatching the back of my hand. So I'm gonna go in and apply on a cherry blossom. I'm gonna start in the corner of my mouth. 
And again, I'm going to try to build the pigmentation. Honestly, I really like this lip shade. I'm a little surprised that I like it as much as I do, just because I typically am not a huge fan when it comes to pinky type of lip colors. I feel like it gives you a pretty blush pink color to the lips. It looks really natural and very like feminine and girly, which I love. I feel like this is perfect to apply on and just kind of go along with your day or you can apply with the lip liner it just feels really moisturizing and I feel like it's just really nice I like the formula so let's move on to lip shade at number three this one is called primrose and this is described on their website as a tawny nude I don't even know what tawny is girl okay <laughs> but this is basically it. and I do want to mention that it's a little troublesome some of them to like twist up the tube of lipstick like I have to kind of work for it so that is the only thing I think it's just the cardboard material that it's made out of so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly swatch this lip color on at the back of my hand and again you have to definitely go over those areas many times trying to build the pigmentation and this is basically it's really really pretty I love it I feel like this is a perfect fall winter lip shade and it's just really pretty it gives you the amount the perfect amount of like subtleness but at the same time it gives you like that pretty pop of color which I personally love and again there is no center to glide it on pretty effortlessly obviously you had to build the pigmentation but it definitely has like a satin finish so I'm gonna go in and apply on this lip color and again going over it a few times love the pigmentation it looks so so pretty love the undertone I thought it was gonna be a little bit more reddish in the undertone than I, it's looking currently but we We'll see once I'm done applying it on. It's a moon for sure. I really like this lip color. It is really pretty. I feel like it would work really well with like a pretty lip liner. Maybe one that's taupey or something close to this lip shade. I think it would look really pretty on. But again, this is perfect. It's subtle, but still gives you that pop of color. This is perfect if you want to be, you know, grab a little bit of tension. But you don't want to be too loud, like a complete bold, you know, red lip color or something a little bit more deep. I feel like this is perfect. So let's move on to Lip shade number four. This is called Snapdragon, which I find the name to the lip color to be really interesting. Like, what, what came about that name? You know what I mean? Why did they choose that name? And it is described on their website as a coral lip color. And let me tell you, the, I don't really wear coral lip colors. I like them. Like when I look at them and swat them back in my hand, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. I would be interested in trying that on. And then when I apply it on, I'm like, oh, that's pretty loud. <laughs> so that's the only thing. And it is really, really pretty. Keep in mind that I did swatch it many times in the back of my hand to build the pigmentation. I do find it to be pretty bright looking at it and swatched in the back of my hand. But again, we can have control of how bright we want this lip color to be. So who knows? Maybe I'll end up really liking it. And this might change the whole coral game for me you know so let's go ahead and dive on in and apply on this lip color and snapdragon is definitely more pigmented than I feel like the last three that I applied on I only went in very lightly with like one swatch and then I kind of like cleaned out the edges really lightly just to like you know everything looks pretty even and then press my lips together and let me tell you it is really really pretty I think I would just, I think I would just go in with one layer and then up blot it with my finger, but I obviously wanted you to be able to see it. <laughs> so I'll keep playing around with this lip color and I'll keep you guys posted in one of like my main monthly fave and fails, how I feel about this specific lip color. I'll make sure to note that for myself, but it is really pretty, definitely really pigmented. I only went in twice, so I can just imagine if I kind of went over and over and over trying to build the pigmentation to this lip shade, but it's really pretty. Has a natural, subtle pop of color, which I personally love. And again, I feel like this is perfect. Like if you want to wear a bold lip color, but you don't really want to be that bold, you know, <laughs> you want it to be very subtle. I feel like this is perfect. So let's move on to lip shade number five. Next is Plumera. This is described as a plum nude lip color, which I do not find the nude in it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand and I actually really love plum lip colors I like them more than your traditional like classic red I don't know something about it is like more edgy more fun I don't know something different I always like to be find a way to be different in my own way <laughs> Feel, which I personally really love again I'm trying to build the pigmentation as much as I can by swatching the back of my hand and I feel like it's pretty pigmented so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the center of my lips and look so far it's pretty pigmented love it I feel like this is a perfect like date night lip color or anytime obviously you just kind of 
you know, want to stand out, you want to do something different, I feel like you can definitely play around with like taupey lip liners or something close to this lip shade. Now, Plumera actually blew me away. I didn't expect it to be this pigmented and it's giving me like an actual pigmented lipstick feel. <laughs> because it applied on so evenly. I didn't notice any patchiness, no feathering. It just applied on so nicely on the lips. Again, the formula is really, really nice. feels comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy, sticky, or anything like that. And I really love the fact that, you know, I think out of all five lip colors, Plumera is definitely the most pigmented out of all the five. It's definitely a vibe. Comment down below what you guys think. But for $12, is it actually worth it? I definitely feel like it is. I love the fact that it's non-scented. I love the fact that it has its recyclable packaging. I love that the packaging is just different. It's really playful and fun. I love the color matches what you're getting inside, which makes it really easy for the consumer when you are buying it, you know, at the store to kind of see what kind of lip shade you're grabbing. I love the fact that, you know, if it glides on effortlessly and you can build the pigmentation to your personal liking, obviously the only downside is you have to work for it to be pigmented. But I like that you have the control of that because, you know, not everyone wants something super pigmented and it feels really moisturizing on the lips. I don't feel like I have anything on. It feels nice and powdery. It doesn't feel heavy. When I press my lips together, the formula doesn't separate. It's just really, really nice. And so far, I personally really like it. So I'm excited to continue you know, playing around this collection and see what other lip colors they kind of have. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything, of course, will be linked down below. Comment down below. Again, let me know out of all five lip shades, which one was your favorite. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!